Good morning, good afternoon, good evening and this is Dr. Bhatti and today we are going to discuss about natural DHT blockers. Many people keep asking questions about natural products as we though it is not this is not a field in which an allopathic doctor is competent to discuss but over a period of time I have developed knowledge which I will be sharing with you. Since centuries we have been praying to nature in all its forms and it is at times like these during the COVID times that we have to re-establish and recommit our attachment to nature. The COVID pandemic reminds us that our existence on this planet is impermanent, unpredictable and mortal. So this gives us an opportunity also to restore our bonds with nature and today discuss the bounties of nature as far as treatment for hair loss is concerned. Diverse plants and herbs have been known to cure hair loss because they contain weak DHT blockers and if you go through the components of any hair loss shampoo or any shampoo for that matter it will contain a list of herbs besides the chemicals of course which are its ingredients. So what are these ingredients and what benefit do they have to our hair is the part of my video. If you are interested please stay on. So hands down the most popular natural hair loss product which causes blockage of testosterone to DHT is saw palmetto and almost everybody who suffers from hair loss has heard this name. Saw palmetto has the highest peer approval and if there's any natural product that your allopathic doctor is likely to recommend it is saw palmetto. And well what is saw palmetto? Saw palmetto is derived from the fruits of the dwarf saw palm and it is a native of Bahamas, West Indian countries and also coastal Florida. The key ingredient ingredient of saw palmetto is beta cytosterol and this has anti DHT properties. According to a study published 38% of patients who were on saw palmetto had satisfactory hair growth as compared to 68% of those who were exposed to finasteride. So this extract has an effect which is almost similar to finasteride and also you have to note that saw palmetto also has side effects similar to finasteride though to a lesser extent the side effects of saw palmetto also mimic those of finasteride. So saw palmetto is often packaged in a mixture where it is the chief ingredient along with pumpkin seed oil, moringa oil, baobab oil, blackberry seed oil, flax seed oil, rosemary oil, peppermint essential oil, cedarwood essential oil and oregano oil. So the next time when you see a shampoo bottle you will be better able to understand what are the ingredients and why those are being used because of the anti-DHT properties. Saw palmetto anti-DHT properties are higher than other natural products. The others also complement it by providing certain other nutritional needs of the hair which are important for hair regrowth and for increasing the diameter of your hair shaft and increasing the hair density. At the risk of sounding like a barefoot doctor I would still like to take this risk and put it on record that especially in India though we have a centuries old tradition since 650 BC of using Ayurvedic treatment in our day-to-day -day life we however shy away from listening to words like Amla, Rita, Shikakai because they sound archaic they do not sound modern to us however these are products which our ancestors have used for centuries together and which have benefited them and today when they have been repackaged some people are increasingly including them in their hair care stack in western countries also nowadays more and more natural hair care products are including indian ingredients of ayurveda so what are these indian herbs and plants which have a positive effect on hair growth let's know about them since now they're becoming increasingly popular in the hair loss industry in India as well as abroad. The commonest component of hair oils in India is Bhringraj and Bhringraj is nowadays coming as topical serum and topical products to increase the hair regrowth in people who suffer from hair. Besides Bhringraj is Rita and the tree is found in the uh, sub Himalayan belt. The other one is Amla or the Indian gooseberry. Shikakai or Acacia consini and Brahmi which is used as Brahmi oil and almost everybody has heard about it it is water hyssop. Bring Raj increases the vasodilation. The peri follicular capillaries channels open up along the walls and this increases the blood flow around the follicle. And the effect is similar to that of minoxidil though to a lesser extent. On the other hand shikakai. Shikakai has an effect much like that of nizoral. It cleanses the skin. It improves the peri follicular environment. It has antibacterial and antifungal properties. It also increases vitamin C and vitamin D content in the skin around the follicles which is good for hair growth. Brahmi oil also is a weak DHT blocker. It prevents the conversion of testosterone into DHT and thereby decreasing the effect of androgenetic alopecia. So these products have been used for centuries. It is very nice to know that these products are increasingly being used now by hair loss sufferers in India and in Western countries as well today. Our roots are with nature and we need to develop these bonds 
that we have had for centuries with nature. The other products which are used all over the world are pygium, singing nettle and pumpkin seed oil. There are so many other products which are not so important and I am going to skip them. To conclude, natural DHT blockers have only a minimal effect. You cannot compare these with the effect of pharmaceutical grade products like finasteride, dutasteride, minoxidil, orivinol because their effect is very little. It is very minimal effect. At the same time, the effect is there. If you use these products regularly, their benefits are compounded. Many people would say that it's merely conjecture. This is not evidence-based medicine. However, prolonged use of these products over a period of time will enhance their effect on the hair and cause good results. Unlike other pharmaceutical products which we take in fits and starts and they have, when you start them, you have side effects and you stop and then you start again using it after six months and then again because we cannot be regular with pharmaceutical grade products because they have side effects. A small minute number who have side effects and the side effects trouble them a hell of a lot. These are the people who are advised to go on natural DHT blockers. Even those people who are tolerating finasteride, minoxidil very well, I will advise that they should try natural products as well. These natural products will accentuate the effect of the other medicines on their hair and you will have a much better result with these natural products and I would recommend use of saw palmate and this also further strengthens our bond with nature and we need it. Thank you very much for watching and for those who have not subscribed to my channel please subscribe please click on the button so that you can watch more videos that I regularly make for my channel. Hindi or Punjabi ke liye agar aap kuch jaanna chahein natural products ke baare mein to meko comment section mein likhein aur main aapko uska jawab dunga. Thank you for watching. Dhaniwad. Meet you in the next video.